Good evening, I'm Mike Brooks. I'm Carol Larson. Here's the latest news from Two Works For You. The fight to bring your favorite farmer's market foods back to the shelves is heading to the state capitol. Dozens of vendors had their products pulled last October, but now a new bill would bring them all back to indoor farmer's markets across Oklahoma. Ash Winfield asked everyone who came through the doors of his shop, Farm Hippie, to sign a petition to change the rule. He got double the required signatures in just one week. State legislators got on board. The result is Senate Bill 3420, which will be read next week. Heading to college just got a little more expensive, at least if you plan on going to the University of Oklahoma. Starting next year, student meal plans and housing rates are going to go up by 3%. The Board of Regents also approving several online degree programs. Meantime, Oklahoma-based Sonic is planning layoffs at their headquarters in OKC. Now, Sonic officials haven't said how many people will be laid off or how many are being offered transfers to Atlanta, home of the new parent company. Oklahoma City's mayor responded to the announcement. And that's a tough day and, and I feel for them. There are some people who are having to find new careers. Sonic officials say hundreds of employees will still work at the Oklahoma City headquarters. They say the changes are happening as they integrate with the new parent company and the layoffs have nothing to do with sales or profits. 60s is where we're heading for our Saturday afternoon. Tulsa 60, Bartlesville 60, prior community in the upper 50s. The 10 day forecast 71 on Sunday. 70 Monday, turning colder though, middle of next week. The chance maybe for a few little snow showers on Wednesday. Highs in the upper 30s. For more news, go to our website or our mobile app. Our Two Works For You morning team will be here first thing in the morning, of course, from all of us here. Two Works For You. Have a great weekend.